A team that uh, maybe has some question marks uh, is the Verdon Oil Capitals. We I try and keep an eye on what they've been doing, but they're a team that kind of always seems like they're poised to take that next step, and yet somehow they end up just kind of running into a wall. Darnell, what do you see about the Verdon Oil Capitals coming off a 30-win regular season and a really good first round of the playoffs before falling short in the second round? Well, I think the the first the, the re- first great thing they did is lock up Tyson Ramsey as their head coach and general manager on a multi-year contract extension. I think he's done a wonderful job. He gets the best out of his players, even when this team isn't the most skilled teams. Uh, they work extremely hard. They're efficient. They've always been historically during my time uh, covering the league have been very strong on the power play. So that's something that they're going to have to carry into this year to have success. But yeah, question mark. That is the big thing. But again, they're one of those teams. If they have the players that are eligible to return, return, they're going to have some success. They lost one of their, their top goaltender from last year. He was just traded to the Portage Terriers. So that brings in a question mark. What's going to happen? Because he was really, really solid in the first round against Weiwei C. Capel, really since he was brought in. That's a tough start. I mean, goaltending, can you lead you lead you to a championship? You saw with the Kings last year. But I, I do expect this Oil Capitals team, they've been so good. They made the league final not long ago. Of course, you remember that, Dave. So I think when you think about Verdon, you think about a team that uh, they have championship aspirations. The question continues to be year after year after year. Are they finally going to get the job done? I'm not so sure they will, but I think they're going to be a tough out and they're going to be extremely competitive. And at the end of the day, they're going to have a team that can score defense may be a problem, but they're going to put the puck in the back of the net. Yeah. And that's a beautiful arena to play in. And they really put on a show and they got great fan support too. Kevin um, away from the rink. This is an organization that's really building up players to the next level. We see more commitments coming out of the Verdon oil capitals organization. What's it been like to see that program grow and kind of, you know, get the, get and earn the respect it deserves around, not just the MJHL, but beyond. Well, and that's a testament to Tyson Ramsey there too. You know, they, they have a pretty big footprint in this league and they're perennially uh, a solid contender as far as their talent goes. Everything from I've seen from them is uh, they're big game players. They're, they're big players come out to play in important games. They give the tough teams in the league a very, like Darnell said, they're a tough out no matter what. And um, that's an enticing program to play for. So I think if you continually run a ship like that, you're going to attract more and more attention and have the Carson Bidens and guys there that are fantastic hockey players and provide a good platform for people to want to come watch. And that's something that the fans want to see. And it's just something that kind of encompasses the whole package. It becomes one that feeds the next, right? So they, they create a good platform. People want to be there and watch and players want to come and play. Darnell, I know that some programs want to win. Other programs need to win. Where do you see Verdon fitting in in one of those two categories? Need to win or want to win? I think it's a little bit of both, but I think almost at the same time, it gets to a point where you almost need to win because I, I think the Verdon Oil Capitals have been oh so close getting to the league final, getting to the second round, but they haven't been able to take that jump so many times we talk about taking that jump from out of the postseason into the postseason the oil capitals are going to be a playoff team i think there's almost no doubt about that of course every team wants to win but i think for the verdant oil capitals they always do such a great job of recruiting scouting getting players to that program but it's always easier to do so when you're winning and when you win championships i think for the verdant oil capitals if they want to consistently take things to the next level they have to win. They want to win. And I think they have to as well. 